King Rice nearly gave up on his dream of being a head coach. But Mammoth gambles on an alcoholic who got a DUI. Five years later, it's paying off. Nick Medanis is here with more. Tonight, part two of our story, Rice's frustration and self-doubt. It takes nearly 20 years to get a head coaching job, but now first place Monmouth is showing up on mock brackets for the NCAA tournament. This season is putting Monmouth on the map. A lot of folks in our part of the country don't even know what Monmouth is. Right. Now they do. From the Jersey Shore to Venice Beach, Monmouth stuns UCLA. They beat Notre Dame and Georgetown. The Hawks bench has taken on its own persona. I push these kids extremely hard. This is new for all of us. It brings more attention. A sellout crowd for the home opener packs Monmouth's $60 million arena. This under the leadership of fifth year coach King Rice. If you just Google my name and read it, you're gonna think negative things. Rice abused alcohol in college and into his 20s. He got busted for drunken driving, but he went to rehab and was 15 years sober. Restless as an assistant coach, Rice wanted more. I know coaches go out now and do the things that I used to do, okay? I don't do that anymore. Guys keep getting jobs. When can I have a chance? Dr. Marilyn McNeil gave him that chance. He has something to prove. But when McNeil reached out to Rice, he blew her off. I want to talk to you about the head coach. He says, I'm not, I'm not applying anymore. Rice says he was frustrated. I missed on four or five interviews where I thought I won the interview. And then for some reason, my past would come in and I would not be able to get the job. The president or the AD would get cold feet. Maybe a money person might have stepped in. But McNeil saw opportunity. What a great lesson. I mean, we're supposed to be teachers. He goes on the court and he gets to tell that story. I think it's very, very powerful. Success, though, doesn't come easy. Rice's head coaching career starts with three losing seasons. When you get beat the way we were getting beat, you start questioning, am I even good at this? He's putting that to rest. Seeing Monmouth on those March Madness brackets is the ultimate advertising for the university and for Rice. So would he listen to job offers from a power program? Don't go there. They gave me a chance when no one wanted to give me a chance. I think you owe it to the people at Monmouth to, to get the job done that you were hired to do. Rice says he tells recruits he's in no hurry to leave, but in our interview, he stopped short of ruling it out.